murder, she told you you can't talk about that shit up in here. We ain't talking about no fucking ops in here. You can take that shit outside. When you start rapping like that, in this area with 51, everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. The clip will blow. I ain't talking fast. You're listening slow. And you know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi, you know what I'm saying? And now don't do me a favor. Don't be a stranger. Subscribe to the channel, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you are watching it anyway. Pushing this thing to 100,000 this year. We are over 80. Uh, salute to my guy, Showtime SP. But let's just talk, man. ARP, Nunu Nails, Swave Sever. You can't talk about this event at my event. All of this, I'm gonna just put this all in one to get the job done, right? So ARP goes on Black Compass Media, he does an interview with them, they get into a squabble back and forth. A lot of fans, you know what I'm saying, they're saying, yo, y'all wouldn't talk to Beasley like that. I do agree. A lot of media platforms, they wouldn't go at Beasley like that, they not going at Smack like that. And this is where a lot of the division comes in. Um, when it comes to me and this platform, you know what I'm saying, I talk about events, battles, news, we do bar for bar breakdowns, we do recaps, we do some of the best recaps. There ain't too many niggas doing better recaps than us. I don't care who you are, A through Z, whatever. And this is a fact, like you can look at the numbers. We don't have to do that. We don't have to talk about numbers with anything I do because we know where we at, so it is what it is. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone, I like most of y'all. Right, and I heard you know, different platforms, regardless of the fact, they, they'll hate on us, they'll talk shit about us, they'll say we don't deserve to have this, we don't deserve to have that, but whatever. You see what we're doing over here, so it is what it is. And it just be me and SP. Period. I don't need no, no artists, I don't need none of that shit. When you turn on this camera, you know who you're gonna see. That's it. This is the show, I'm the show. Me and show is the show. So that's just that. So. Uh, you know, and everybody out there doing their thing, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no slight to nobody. I really don't give a fuck about what nobody got going on. I watch what we do, and you know what I'm saying? A couple other little channels here and there that support what I do, but other than that, it is what it is. I don't get involved in politics. I always say this, I don't want no tickets. I don't want none of that shit, because the thing is, it comes with a price, you know what I'm saying? Like, it comes with a price. If you gonna support a league 100% and play devil's advocate, fans will notice that. Fans will talk about it. It ain't just about no one media. It's a bunch, like, you know what I'm saying? You can group this shit up with if something goes wrong or something goes left, we already know who gonna ride. We yes, sir! This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga! We already know who gonna go all the way out and be strapping up and clipping out to go shoot at everybody over a league. It is what it is. You know, niggas let you in. You get stage passes, you get seen, you get the visibility. You know, that shit comes with a price. These niggas, URL is not letting niggas into their events who they feel got any stain for another league. I remember, I might have been four, five, six years ago, you know, I went to a King of the Dot event. I got phone calls about that shit. Yo, what you doing over there? Why you at that event? Da, 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 da. I was, and we're going to get to that too because that messed up a lot of my relationships because I was such a great flexer People thought I had money before I had it, but let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. But I, I once I got the Rolex, and I was like, "Yo, this is crazy." Now I never understood it. I went to an RBE event, I got the same thing, and I just stopped fucking with niggas. I'm like, man, this is crazy. I can't be a grown man over thirty with people who not paying me, telling me where I can versus can't go, who I can talk about versus. Can't. So I had to get away from. Them. I could not like. So I understand, and I could talk about that for so long. But I ain't, you know what I'm saying? There's no mystery in the history. Niggas know, like, if you are affiliated or if they fucking with you on any level, they don't fuck with you like fucking with other leagues. That's just the way it goes, period. I, you can say, anybody can say what they want, but as a person who experienced it, dealt with it, I ain't trying to hear it. So, uh, ARP does the interview, you know, uh, they get to going back and forth. And ARP brings Swave up, saying that Swave had a situation the, the, the past weekend where the, the, the member of the associated, the, the, this, all this coded words and all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? I rock with ARP, what he got going on. I seen the blue room. I fucked with what he's got going on, but it's mad code. See, the thing is, right, when they doing all these coded words, well, it could have been this person. It could have been that person. Look, nobody cares if it ain't Beasley, Chico, Smack. You know what I'm saying? Like, top level. The lowest you could probably go is Pete. Any lower than that, nobody cares about. That's for Swave. Nobody cares and ARP. Like, ARP dog. 
a word from a new new bro. We don't give a fuck about nothing she talk about. Like. care like she doesn't have enough clout as far as like to really move the pendulum we don't give a fuck like what she said or what she said whatever was said i'm gonna tell you what i heard was said so it is what it is y'all can take it for what it is allegedly what was said i'll tell you that in one second you know let's just keep the preview to continue if you're still here i'm glad you're here so there is a term called an enemy of an enemy is a friend of mine swave seven went to an event right he had to fly down to atlanta Fucking TSA is hell. You gotta wait two hours to get through the airport. You, you niggas that be at every event, I got mad respect for y'all because I can't do it. I already said it. I know niggas, niggas tried to, but years ago, in the past years, niggas used to try to say, oh, he's scared, he won't go to events, he won't go to events. Well, then I said, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna go outside to a couple events. I went to Rock's event, I went to the Battle Academy event, I went to the RBE shit down in Atlanta, my third or fourth event this year. So quite frankly, I'm really not, you know what I'm saying? The only thing niggas ever took from me at an event was advice. So. I, 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 and I don't even, and there's nothing to prove because the thing at these battle rap events, you gotta get a hotel, rent a car, flight, you gotta eat all weekend, if you smoke bud, if you drink. You could spend a thousand dollars in one weekend just going to an event. Where if you don't go and you just stay home, you can recap it and you don't have to spend anything. So I go to a couple a year, but I'm not gonna go be out, I'm outside, I'm outside. What is the use of being outside if you can't ask niggas the questions that you wanna use? Ask. Why is the use of being outside if you can't say or do what you want to do? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you niggas be so controlled just to be in good company and good graces of a company that once you say something less about, it's going to push you to the fucking side anyway. This shit is mind-blowing. And the niggas that be at every single event, all in these battle rappers' face, don't do the views of niggas who don't be there. Who don't be there. That shit blows my mind. How are you at every event? Y'all can get all these niggas on camera, all this other shit, and don't do the views of the niggas who's not there. That shit is bugged, right? So, Swave goes to sit in the place of uh, Uncle Rock, you know what I'm saying? He does that, I've seen him. I've seen him at the Battle Academy event, doing interviews, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. He was the only one of the only people that got an interview with Hitman Holler after the um, Easy to Block Captain Battle. So salute to AR, um, salute to Swave 7, everything that he does, you know what I'm saying? This is no slight to Swave, but Swave gotta understand a couple things. You're OG in battle rap, you've been doing this shit for a while, but the media shit is way different. Do you know the things that media have to go through? Like, do you really know? Like, do you, I don't really think you know. Like, the disrespect, the things people say, the darts people try to throw at you, the way they try to call you out, the way they try to uh, nullify what you got. Do you know? You don't know, you know what I'm saying? The getting not included on shit you should be included on, you know what I'm saying? Don't get the phone calls. You gotta understand, once you choose to take that route, if you're not gonna be compromised, you got to understand, you gotta take whatever that comes with it. It is what it is. Like, once you take that step and be like, yo, this is something I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick this camera up, I'm gonna give my opinions, yada, yada, yada. Bro, you gotta understand, you take what comes with that. You go into a URL event, you know what I'm saying? The room is all, pro this shit is mad click, clicky, gang, gang, -y, like URL, gang, 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 they do this shit. They, that's what they do. Click, 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 clicky, gang, gang shit. You gotta be in. If you're not under the wing, it is what it is. You go there and you're asking about a battle from another league, which URL doesn't fuck with. Their beef is at like all high, all time high, whatever the case may be. ARP should not be oblivious of the fact that niggas is giving you a hard time about talking about an event. They, he should not be oblivious to that. Did you think you no think they going? I'm not Wait, surprised. No way, you know what I'm saying? They always say two things Wait, can no way, be right. Bro. I am not surprised from personal experience. And from what I hear and all the shit that be going on and the whispers in the background, I'm not surprised that they're mad that they was asking about Murder Move versus Big K at event. I am not surprised at all. But you gotta understand, there's no feelings in media. You cannot give a fuck about what nobody gotta say to you. Listen, as long as nobody ain't talking about my kids, my family, you know what I'm saying? Like shit that really means something to me. Other than that, I don't care. You can say whatever you want. Oh, Vada this, Vada that, F him, F Showtime SP, whoop de whoop. Bro, I done heard everything. I heard stuff about me that could be the most furthest thing from the truth. I just let it go down my back, because guess what? My job here ain't to clear up how you feel or how a person feels or nothing about me. I'm not here to clear up your rumors. However you feel is how you feel. If you still here, you still here. You watching, you watching. If you ain't, you ain't. I don't give a fuck. Because the only thing that niggas gonna do when they see me in real life is dap me up, take a picture, say, yo, we watch your shit, we fuck with your recap, blah, but that's all it be. So, there's no feelings in battle rap. That's where Swave goes for. You like, yo, she hurt my feelings. Bro, fuck all, there ain't no feelings in 
Battle rap. No feelings in media. I'm sorry. You get paid to do what niggas is afraid to. That's what you're supposed to be doing, right? But the thing is, a lot of these cameras and stuff that be at these events, they won't even tell battlers they lost. They will not tell a battler they lost. Oh, it's great battle. I got to see it back on camera. Y'all had it 1-1 going into the third. Yo, blah, 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 blah. Y'all not even keeping it 100 with these niggas. Y'all will never tell battlers they lost a battle. Y'all will never tell league owners that an event was not good. Y'all don't run down on other league owners. They would, nobody would run down on Beasley Smack or none of them niggas the way they'll get the energy with ARP. And it is a fact. That will not happen. Because these niggas be having questions to ask. What is the use of flying to a state to do interviews, but you can't ask the questions that you want to ask? Like, I find that oblivious. You niggas better off staying at home if you, you can't even address or talk to niggas the way you want. You can't do it because if you do it, you're not going to be let in no more. No stage pass. Get to the back of the line. Wait around the corner. That's how they treat y'all. So, uh, ARP did hitch his, hitch his wagon to a bunch of bad wheels, you know what I'm saying? Like the NBS shit, you know what I'm saying? I heard about it. Uh, I spoke, you know what I'm saying, I heard about it, I heard what was going on, but I asked about it, but he's not providing enough proof, so I couldn't really stand on that and run the whole relay. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not. Like, nigga, you ain't proving it. You're doing all this goofy shit about pay me, and oh, you're going to be surprised next week, and y'all going to be surprised. Bro, ain't nobody waiting no two months for you to put out shit. He got away with it, but he ain't get away with it. I know he watches all these blogs. He probably sits back with a bag of cotton candy on the bed smiling and laughing that everybody's even giving him the attention that he wants because he's not, he ain't proving shit and he ain't proved shit. So ARP hitched his cart to that wagon and then you uh, you hitched it to this Nunu thing. It's bro like, nigga, that's new. nobody cares. Like we don't give a fuck about nothing she got to say. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like she can say what she wants. She, she has these outbursts. It is what it is. I heard she told you, you can't talk about that shit up in here. We ain't talking about no fucking ops in here. You can take that shit outside. You could take that shit outside. <laughs> That's what I heard. I'm just telling you, I, you know, y'all know that bloggers and media and all of that shit, we be very, very well connected. Guess what? Niggas will call you. Niggas will text you. Niggas will send you video, audio, all of that shit of situation. When that whole little fight happened, niggas was sending me the video with surfing them niggas. They were sending me the video. When stuff happened, they send it to us. I'm not saying I ain't get no video or no audio on this shit, but I was told from niggas that was very reliable. She started bugging. Yo, she was bugging, telling him, yo, you can't do that with the boo. And they said Beasley was standing right there. The reason why he ain't stop it, because he probably agreed with the shit. But he ain't gonna do it, he gonna let her do it. That's the guard dog. You know, Martin had the fucking dog and shit. That's that's what that's what the she do. She I'm not surprised. I'm not. But I got no issue with what she did because that's the company that she's that's the set she claimed that's the flag she wears. We know what she's gonna do. She's gonna do just that. That's exactly what she's gonna do. Ain't no fucking talk about that shit up in here. You can take that shit up the block and around the corner and down the street, motherfucker. You URL till I die, nigga. That's why what she was. That's why what she said. Probably sleeps with URL pillows and slim band blankets at night. <laughs> Some niggas, they really, really, really ride for this shit. But again, Sway, it's no feelings in the media. I can't get in my feelings because so and so don't like how I recap they battle or whatever the case may be. Some of the greatest rappers have been like, oh, fuck Vada. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm still here. I'll be right back tomorrow doing the same video over and over and over again. It is what it is. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Like, I don't lose no sleep over that. My kids love me. My family loves me. You know what I'm saying? My friends love me. My mom loves me. I don't get my, the people that watch this. And you ever see this? The niggas who don't give a fuck, the niggas who's going to call it like it is, y'all know who I ain't got to say who it is. They do more views than the niggas on the other side. They, 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 we do. We do more views. We cut this camera on 20,000, 30,000, 15,000, 10,000. It'd be rare to do under 10,000 nowadays for, for channels that really keep it 100 and really gonna call it like it is. Yeah, that's how it goes. But, you know, you, uh, you can't be getting emotional, my nigga. Like, come on. And then the worst part about it, you go outside and call ARP, nigga, did you think he was gonna keep that shit in confidentiality? You went outside, Sway, you went outside and called the nigga's biggest op and minute, told him what they did. Did you, and then didn't even have, cause in blogging, gonna be honest, like if I happen to talk to a Chris Unbiased or somebody like that, if we talking about something and we don't want the world to know, we'd be like, yo, this is between us. You put a disclaimer out there first in the conversation. Yo, yo, hold on, yo, we can't let this out. Like, I'll know a battle that's coming up. I do know a couple battles that's coming up. 
If we call each other and we speak about it, he's telling me about battles and woo de woo de woo. We keep it amongst each other. You know what I'm saying? Like we'll know about it and we'll keep it moving. But bro, you should have had. You should have at least asked for that. You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all got business. Y'all probably got business coming up. You probably booked over there. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised to see you battling soon. And y'all got this in the air. Now, ARP, I understand that. You know. You know, you you got you guys got y'all issues, you are all you, you know what I'm saying? They be blocking your battles, they got y'all niggas in a lawsuit and shit like that, but they'll hit the, the you hitched your wagon to a new new saying some shit about not being able to do this and do that. You can't talk about this fucking event, you can take that shit outside. While it is egregious, it's not enough, bro. That's not the that's not gonna win the game. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just not. It's like making a layup and you're down by twenty-eight. Like that's not gonna be enough. We already know that niggas don't want niggas talking about other leagues and their events. We already know that they don't want niggas who affiliated with them even going to other events. We already know that niggas will do weird, goofy shit like take you off the list, not let you host a pay-per-view, not let you do uh, anything with them if you affiliate with anybody else. That's just the way it goes. And the most of the niggas over there don't get paid. They just do it because they want to get an quote-unquote opportunity. It happens every day. Trust me. I'm not, I don't want to get into all of my personal stories and experience with these niggas because I've already said it before. But I'm not surprised at anything that's going on right now. I am not surprised in the least bit. But Swave, I, I mean, you got a show called Restore Order. You know what I'm saying? Restore Order is one of the most respected platforms. Swave is one of the more respected MCs in battle rap. He talks about everything. If this type of shit was to happen to someone else, they will be talking about it on Monday when the show comes up. When everybody else go through their shit, they talk about it over there. So you gotta expect and you gotta know that people are gonna talk about this. You are a blogger, you do media, you know what I'm saying? You do interviews, Uncle Ra hires you, you work for him basically. So when you do that and this type of shit happens, and then this could lead to like more shit, you know what I'm saying? Like they have a business relationship with URL. Uncle Ra is in every fucking event. Like I seen that nigga in Atlanta. I seen you representing him in Philly. Like, y'all everywhere. Like, the, the hip hop is reels and the 15 minutes. Y'all are everywhere. And y'all have to because that's what draws the subscriber base. That's what draws the content. That's what draws people the interviews, the talk, the, 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 the shit that y'all have on there. Y'all ain't like bloggers. You know what I'm saying? Like an angry fan, like a Chris Unbiased, or like myself, or Piper Boy. These niggas, we can cut the camera on and just talk ourselves every day. And people are going to watch. You know what I'm saying? Because they're in tune to what we're talking about. This blog will do 10,000 views. This blog will do 15. This blog will do, the people will watch this because it's about I, what I am saying about the situation. Once you cross over and you're media, bro, you gotta understand, my nigga. It's no feelings. You cannot have feelings, bro. Like, you cannot. Like, you gotta have a tough skin because it's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. I'm not surprised she did that at all. I'm really not. That's the team she rides for. That's the position that she plays. And, you know, is it disrespectful? Yeah. Is it whack? Yeah, it's whack too. But they could say you asking about RBE inside of a URL event is whack too. You could have asked them questions outside because guess what? Every nigga that go in the building is going to come out the building too. So I think you um, should read the room a little bit more when you go to certain places, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I heard, like, I seen different other interviews where they was asking questions, and if they asked about it, they didn't ask so loud. They said, yo, 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 so, so what you think about Big K versus uh, Murder Moot going down on RBE? They didn't ask so loud and boisterous because niggas probably knew what the time was. Now it's going to be mad strange. Whenever you in there trying to interview people, if you choose to move on with the interview shit, they all, everybody going to be watching, everybody going to be listening to the interview, everybody going to be all up in your shit trying to hear what you're talking about because of this situation right here. If you didn't want it to get out, you should not have told no damn ARP. ARP don't owe nobody no reprieve, and he gonna say what he's gonna say. He's probably gonna address this whole situation too. I'm sure he will. But between MBS hitching his wagon to that, hitching his wagon to this, you know what I'm saying? They gonna, they gonna be looking at him crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what Beasley was on. He was on an interview saying, yo, is he gonna apologize when the league owner does the booty booty poo, the political shit that they didn't speak doing? Ah, 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 they gonna apologize when they talk about our stream and blah, blah, blah. That's what they gonna do. But you have to understand that if it ain't solid, if it ain't nothing concrete, it's probably not gonna fly. And that's the only reason why I'm doing this blog now, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I have to work, I got shit to do, so it is what it is. I gotta get it out the way, but, um, yeah, man, at the end of the day, uh, and then the last thing, hey, I, oh my God, Swave, my nigga, my nigga, I fuck with Swave too, bro, I really do, I, I follow him on Twitter, I respect his opinion in battle, you say he was trying to like, uh, <laughs> this shit was funny, I ain't gonna lie, my nigga, I watched this shit yesterday too, 30 minutes, you know what you said, 
You say you trying to like bring peace between these niggas? Like, yo, bro, you not no damn Nelson Mandela battle rap, nigga. Leave that shit alone. He's hey, yo, what the fuck? These niggas is at war. They don't give a fuck about no peace, and I would love to see this shit be together, and niggas just stand on the same stage and shit like, bro, no, that shit is not happening. You see how much shit these niggas done been through? Niggas done tried to block battles, niggas done block defense, niggas done told bloggers not to go over there and talk about, bro, there's, there's no peace. There ain't gonna be no motherfucking peace. Yeah, I'm telling you that right now. I ain't mad about the issues and the drama going on, because guess what? Every time you niggas go back and forth, I'm going to talk about it, and we're going to get it, we gonna get paid for it. So, it ain't nothing for me. I could do this shit all day and all night. But, at the end of the day, URL expects, they have an expectation of the niggas who they rock with, who they co-sign, who they around, who they let like be in all of their events and, and be part of the, the, the tournaments and shit. They expect these niggas to have a certain amount of respect, credence, loyalty to what they got going on. And they expect nothing less. It is what it is. Like, nigga, we putting you on caffeine, you know what I'm saying? We putting you on this, we putting you on that. Y'all niggas, yo, 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 this what y'all doing? Trust me, the very second that niggas flip the switch and be like, nah, this event was whack. Niggas will never get on camera and say an event was whack. I will. I say Kings vs. Queens wasn't that good. I'm like, <laughs> honestly, get what, a 6 out of a 10 or some shit? I will do that because I don't have nothing to gain from none of these niggas. Not a single thing. They can't do nothing for me. Can't offer me nothing. Caffeine tried. They offered me twice. No, no. So I don't got nothing to gain from them. You know what I'm saying? So they know not to call me. They know don't hit me up. They, my phone don't never ring. It's a beautiful feeling. They ain't going to call me. But guess what, I'ma still do the same amount of views I do, if not more, which is more than most of these niggas. And it is what it is. But, Sway, I mean, I, I, I really hope that you learn, you grow from this. What you do is good for battle rap. I've seen you at events, I know how hard you work. Y'all niggas be doing interviews that I won't even, nigga, I don't, when I be at an event, nigga, my camera ain't out, cause guess what, I don't give a fuck about how none of these niggas feel. You know why? Cause I'ma go home and say how I feel, and they're gonna watch that. So I don't do interviews. That's why it's not even, it's not even like, productive for me to go to an event. The only thing I go to an event to do is to network, see people I ain't seen in a while, hang out, sip a little something, and go home and miss half the bars because I miss it talking to crowd and yada yada yada. I miss half the shit being there anyway. I'm not there to do interviews. I don't interview people because I don't care. It's like Key Glock, nigga, fuck a feature. I don't want your feature. I might interview myself one day. I don't want to talk to these niggas because at the end of the day, if you're not in their pocket or you're not catering to the agenda or you not, you know what I'm saying, pushing the narrative, nigga, you're, you're useless, you know what I'm saying, you're useless. I remember niggas saying, we don't pay y'all because we pay y'all with opportunity. Opportunity? My kid don't eat no opportunity, man, fuck that, I'm out. And that's exactly what I did with my shit, and I'm glad, I'm so glad it happened, but yo, Sway, my nigga, I fucks with you, I rock with what your legacy is, but bro, ain't no feelings in media. It does, like, like you can't have no feelings, my nigga. Are you crazy? You know how many niggas? Do you know what they be saying about every outlet, bro? Like, you got your... By Nunu? Oh, hell no. Nah. So you get that shit together, man. I, I, I'm a, I'm a holla at... Uh, I got Uncle Rod's number and shit, so... I'll probably text him a little later on. Oh, Heavy Bag. Heavy Bag is my man, too. I fuck with AP, too. That's a good nigga, man. And I'll go ahead and mail you this, you know what I'm saying? Because this is definitely an L for you, Swave. You got your feel... Yo, feelings? Ain't no damn feelings, man. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> About, man. One.